Lying in a hospital bed for 60 days straight is one thing if you're critically ill, but what if you're completely healthy? Then it must be a NASA research project. Reporter David Schechter traveled to Galveston to see how lying in bed actually helps astronauts stay healthy on long space missions. I'm working on number six right now. Don't get me wrong. It is a light gray. Gary Conway is the kind of guy who cares about the right stuff. I thought this is one way I could contribute to the uh, space program. What? The space program? You think he'd care more about the right fluff of his pillow? I stay busy with that a lot. After laying in a hospital bed for two weeks. It's not that bad. You get used to it within four or five days. While Conway of Seattle and Michael Asaf from Houston are cared for like critically ill patients, they are in fact perfectly healthy NASA guinea pigs. They're part of a study where subjects stay in bed for up to 60 days. They eat, Thanks. drink, and do <clears throat> all of their business without ever raising their heads. That includes showers. We take horizontal showers here. And most importantly, exercise. The purpose of the research is to develop an efficient, robust exercise program for space to replicate conditions up there, down here. They had to build this. It's a mad science treadmill of cables and straps that shifts all of a subject's weight to his legs without ever getting out of bed. Okay, four minutes. Every day, these guys run through short intervals of intense exercise. The interval training has proved to be very effective. Astronauts exercise regularly to combat the loss of muscle tone and bone mass that happen on long missions without gravity. Here, they replicate those conditions on the body and then perfect the workout to try to fix the problems. So if what we find in our bed rest subjects isn't perfect, we can tweak it, we can change it, we can try and make it perfect uh, before the astronauts uh, then utilize it. The volunteers who make that possible have different reasons for enduring a mentally and physically grueling study. There you go, Gary. For Gary, it's something noble. Yeah, sure, in the big picture, because it's going to allow the astronauts to stay healthy in space. Michael, who's out of work, likes the money, $200 a day. How do you do it? Uh, I just think about the prize at the end. NASA's thinking about its prize, too. Healthier astronauts through rigorous scientific research. You can do it. Who knew laying in bed could be such hard work? All right, coming down. David Schechter. Next. <laughs> Channel 8 